Hey everybody, Ann here. And uh, yeah, another rainy day in Tennessee. Go figure. I don't know. I am, I'm discouraged right now. I'm just having a really hard time. You know, this DoorDash thing isn't working out. I'm broke. I'm spending all my money on gas. I have no money. <laughs> and I'm not getting the orders that I need. My lot payment is coming up. And I am just ready to scream. I contacted support again today after that email they sent me stating that I had not contacted them in three days so they closed my case so I'm having to repeat the whole story again about my 50 measly bucks that they owe me 50 bucks that's it 50 bucks and I have had to jump through so many hoops that it's just unbelievable so I don't know guys pray for me um, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep doing this DoorDash thing it's just not enough I mean I, I don't need a lot of money really I need $200 for my lot fee I need $55 a month for my phone Another 30 some odd dollars for insurance. Um, and that's it. You know, I don't need a lot of money. I need money for gas and for food and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I don't need to make buku bucks. So I thought that this would work. But I guess DoorDash is just not really big in this area. I mean, Covington today, Jackson. I would have been better off just staying in Jackson. You know what? I should have just stayed in Jackson. I'm trying to fix my hair here. Yeah, I would have done better just staying in Jackson. That way I would not have paid all this money for gas. And so now I'm just sitting around here waiting for orders and it's just, oh my God. It's just pissing me off. It's just so discouraging. So, so you guys just say a prayer that something works out. That um, I start getting the big orders, not the $5 orders, not the $4 orders or the $2 orders. But you got to take a certain amount of those because you want to get your numbers up pretty quickly. So you can qualify for fast pay. And, um, and you know, another thing, I, I feel like I'm becoming a burden to my friends and family. You know, I've never, it's been a long time since I've asked anybody for help. And I've been asking for a lot of help lately. And it just is still not working. It's not coming together yet. So I have never felt like I've been a burden. I've always, I've always been able to help other people. And I'm not doing that. I mean, I don't have any skills. Where, where I live, everybody barters. I don't have any, any, you know, usable skills or anything to barter that is meaningful to, to these people that have been helping me. And, and someone said jokingly to me, you know, you don't bring nothing to the party but the habit. And yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way that I've been, I guess. I don't know. I'm just disgusted. You know, I thought that coming to Tennessee was going to be the right choice. That this was going to be the best place. But it's been raining more often than not. And when it rains in the area where I'm living, it, it doesn't just get muddy. It, it gets slimy. It's like, you know, I thought, well, I know how to drive on snow. This will be fine. No, no, it's different. You can't drive in this stuff at all. Um, and I've only got half a lot of gravel and most of the gravel is wearing away. So, I mean, even my lot, sometimes I can't even park on my lot because of the rain. And it's been constant. And I'm just, oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. I got to do some thinking. Um, I might have to reinstate my license, my nursing license, and go back to doing nursing, which is something I swore I would never do again. I thought I had retired, but... It'll make me some money. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't want a nurse taking care of me that had lost her passion for nursing. And that's exactly what's happened to me. So, I don't know. This is just not fun. This is just not fun right now. So, I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to find that light at the end of the tunnel that isn't a freight train. I'm trying to maintain my sense of humor, and it's dwindling. So... Somebody, you know, flap around, do something funny, you know, just... Well, if there's one thing I know about myself is that I am a survivor. I'll get through this. I've been through worse. I just don't know how to get out of this immediate discomfort. But, um, you know what? I have to think back to things that have happened in my life. And I've been in such worse situations. So, I'll, I'll have my dreams someday. 
it's going to take a while. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but um, I'm just going to keep, keep hope alive. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.